Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018. So before we start with the reading and while I'm shuffling I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Leo star sign and that is not a personal reading. Therefore guys I will explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the positions but uh, it falls to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situations that are going throughout the month. If you want me to do that for you, well, uh, then this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, uh, if you find these reports helpful, um, there will be an, an extended version of this report. Uh, which covers up specifically career and relationships field of one's life and that could be purchased again from the website for $1.49 so that being said going to the tarot spread which is going to be a five card spread for the month now the first card it um, it does display the current positions uh, the current situation or in our case the situation throughout the month or what the month is going to be the second card shows up the best possible course of action or in our case the intentions that Leo should incorporate into their month the third position is about the obstacles that the month is going to have Leo cope with the fourth position is about the resources what Leo can capitalize on and the last card is about the final outcome uh, of the month or why what will be the result of all that so let's see what you got here as the month now we do have the tree of wands and it, this is really good card now the the tree of wands is a card of growth but in the grand scheme of things leo the the tree of wands as a, a topic of your month it does um, reassure you that your efforts that you are going to exert into the undertakings you will have uh, will remain uh, will not be left without any reward so in another words this card points that what you are working toward and the result of your work will be totally synchronized with the efforts you are incorporating in other words you will get what you work for or you you know your uh, your work will be appropriately rewarded so in other words guys if you kind of slack throughout the month and you don't um, give the most out of you then you will not receive the most reward uh, the, the biggest rewards ever and same thing goes for those who are really um, eager to not just to work you know but also to date other people which will be uh, what I'm trying to say is that the benefits that you will have throughout the month will be exactly um, scaled regarding the uh, efforts you kind of incorporate for those benefits also the tree of wands points that this uh, month will be a month of uh, of growth through which uh, the growth can be only achieved by uh, conquering challenges so it is likely that you may find yourself right now into a place where everything is a piece of cake to be executed and therefore in this specific month of October you should start aiming for a, a higher goals from a little bit more challenging goals for you to accomplish and as I said before the result will not be delayed uh, the best possible course of action toward three of wands here is, is the page of cups and the page of cups in that specific sense speaks that you have to rethink of your positions where you sit into your relationship into your career how you can maximize um, <clears throat> the benefits in the environment you are finding yourself at so that could involve uh, re-establishing positions toward a, a certain co-worker toward a certain friend of yours also the page of cups it's about a um, the very first foundational uh, 
for the foundational establishment of a certain change. So by all means, these couple of cards here points that the uh, challenges that you may want to overcome, not just to overcome, but to conquer, all right? Because challenges and challenges are two different things. There are challenges that are set there to be, uh, to cause you predicaments. There are challenges that you can set in front of yourself so you can improve yourself. And therefore, those challenges that you consciously set in front of yourself to improve um, one being will allow you to execute a certain conscious change in your life either into your career or either into your relationship and this month here it will be a beneficial for you to start preparing yourself for it don't uh, don't be mistaken as soon as you start improving yourself you know uh, in growth uh, you will see where that specific change is going to take place and you will have all the time in the world to prepare yourself for the time it hits and uh, that's why the page of cups into intentional wise asks you to uh, be more uh, focused upon the grand scheme of things rather than upon the minor detail of the certain undertaking then we go to the uh, challenges those challenges which are causing predicaments and needs to be overcome we have the hierophant card so first thing that comes to my mind when i see the hierophant card into that position is that not everybody will um be in the same will be on the same page with you because they will have a little faith in uh, in your goals and in your aims either career wise or either relationship wise uh, also, this card points that should you wait for a, a material benefit, those material benefits may be delayed because the Hierophant card is about the job itself. It is not about the payment after the job is done. So that's why you should kind of like, I know it's hard guys and I know it's, it's, it's easier said than done, but you should rather more focus right now upon the work well done when the Hierophant comes than what follows after what kind of a payment comes after. After the payment will come it could be a little bit delayed all right but it will be as I said according to your performance so the fact that you will not see the benefits straight after doesn't mean that uh, I mean the, ma the material benefits right after it doesn't mean that you should drop off your level of performance also the Hierophant card in that specific place it kind of speaks for deficit of, uh, of trust <clears throat> So you may start being a little bit more anxious into your relationship especially because you may start thinking that your partner doesn't trust you anymore, you know, or your partner doesn't love you anymore. Same thing goes for one career, you know, your, uh, your partner in business doesn't trust you anymore or your co-worker or boss, etc, etc. And this is just a, uh, a temporary state, you know, it's not something permanent. So what you can do to overcome this specific, um, this specific state uh, is an open and um, uh, and a profound conversation with these people to find out you know what you're doing wrong according to them you know how you can reach a common ground etc etc all the predicaments that are that the hierophant causes can be uh, overcome through um, through honest open and profound conversation with these people where you hide nothing and they will hide nothing in return the um, resources that you can rely on here that will be the nine of cups and as a resource this card points for a, a self-fulfillment in the self of that personal emotional fulfillment so uh, the lack of trust you know and the lack of uh, I cannot say really support but let's say um, I'm trying to find the, the, the correct word here for a lack of better terms. Um, it could be again, uh, it could be as well support, you know, but um, it's kind of like, yeah, I think it's trust is the word, but in my language we do have a better word to, um, to explain the situation. Anyway, the lack of trust will not kind of abate your eagerness to chase what you are after here so what we're seeing that the best the 
the best resource that you can rely on is the self-confidence and the drive for self-righteousness. You will know and you will feel within yourself that what you are about to do and what you want to do in general, what what kind of a heights you want to reach in your life are exactly the are exactly the places that you want to find yourself further into the future and the fact that no one believes in you or the very little people believes in you will not be a fact which is going to discourage you to chase those goals also the nine of cups points that the resource that you can rely on as well is uh, the luck of the fortune so in other words whatever you touch it's gonna simply start happening so in Instead of trying to constantly um, <clears throat> convince everybody in your righteousness here, guys, uh, with words, as the Hierophant suggests here, if still after talking with those people they don't believe in you, well then prove them wrong by exerting any actions behind your words. But in the very profound, uh, not profound but superficial meaning of the Nine of Cups, <clears throat> the uh, the best resource that you can rely on here in this uh, in this specific month is the satisfaction of the job well done so far. And then at the end we do have the final um, the final outcome or the result of all that. We are having you here sitting holding the wand of power because the wand is a, a symbol of power looking forward to where you should go next and what field you should conquer so at the end we do have a a, a triversion here from the tree of uh, of wands placing challenges in front of yourself to a, a point where you can actually start incorporating those challenges so we do have a, a month of process where you boosting your self-confidence your self-convictions you know, and um, gathering up a, a support, should I say that way, by re-establishing position of yourself, positions of yourself into your career or into your relationship, knowing that your actions will force a certain change and being satisfied with that, you further after the month ends or at the end of the month, you will start uh, kind of like placing your... Um, your capabilities, skills and knowledge to a an outer limit so you can initiate the growth that uh, currently at the start of the month here was planned and um, you know was reconnoitered as well where it can take place so for you Leo uh, I could suggest you in this specific month looking at these cards n not to be discouraged by anybody's opinion and as a matter of fact um, you will you will find very little people who can um, who can truly understand your passion and uh, what you want to do and how you want to do it. Uh, it is because you need to know that we are individuals and every single one of us thinks in a very different way. But because someone who sits higher in the high, in the ladder of the hierarchy than you are thinks differently, doesn't make your way of thinking wrong. Just on the contrary, it is kind of like a, a sign where you probably should push something on your own and at the end of the day, as um, you finally complete it and realize that, yeah, it was a bit of a struggle, you know, but struggle in this case makes me stronger and makes me um, uh, and kind of initiate a growth in my life. It, you will realize that it was worth it and the self-satisfaction as a resource that you can continue on moving on forward with a great confidence will not be, uh, will come uh, immediately or it won't be delayed so that being said uh, Leo's this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again guys this was a general reading for Leo star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I explained you the uh, meaning of the cards their synergy in the spread but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation and uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, then that is a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there as well, you can find a um, extended reading, which we focus specifically on career and relationship uh, for Leo for October 2018. And that extended reading costs just a dollar forty-nine. 
And so that's that. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.